Hello everyone. So I had some problems with MonoDevelop massively misbehaving. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take you through... Oh, it keeps opening like 18 copies of the same fucking files. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take you through what I did and rather than try and reprogram it because it's pretty clear that MonoDevelop doesn't plan on recovering and I don't trust it to actually work. So the basic uh, idea here is that we have all of these four items. These two can be dropped from orbit. They're on your spaceship and they're intended to be dropped onto the planet's surface, like so. However, these two back here are crafting items and they're intended to be combined with each other to form the first two and I wanted the inventory system to understand the difference and so that's why I built in these tabs and of course you can try to drop these at the moment because I haven't disabled it yet but they don't have any physics attached to them so that's kinda of pointless so how did I go about doing that well the first thing I did is I uh, I added to the uh, no to the inventory object script I added in a variable called craftable. And that's because I may end up wanting to have some things that are craftable but aren't that particular class. For example, I might make it so that you can combine houses, and houses could normally be dropped, but you could combine them into like a super house or something. So I didn't want to limit it to a specific class. On the other hand, I was okay with limiting droppables to the droppable module class because this is going to have like physics attached to it and stuff. So it's pretty it's pretty unique. So here in inventory, uh, I just changed it so that when we we have a couple of, of small changes here, we have this public enum inventory tab which has the three tabs all droppable and craftable. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this to droppable as a default. Although I think that, that default will end up not changing because of the way that that works so um, yeah gotta change it here that's how it works alright uh, so this current tab is set to one of those three values and that's how we know which of the three tabs is currently being clicked on down here in on GUI we actually draw the tabs here this is just a standard tab drawing system so we create a rectangle for each for the button and then we draw the first one. We draw it as a label if it's currently selected or as a button if it's not currently selected because we can click a button. And then if we do click it, we set the tab. And then we move to the right and then we do the same for droppable and we move to the right and do the same for craftable. This is super basic stuff. Uh, set tab had to be created and I did that. What I do in set tab is I just set the current tab equal to the tab you've specified and then I recreate the inventory. Pretty easy. So here in show inventory, I had to make it so that the items were discarded if they weren't the right type. So this is the logic I've added in. Uh, current tab, uh, if, if the current tab is a craftable tab, but the item we're currently thinking about showing isn't craftable, then don't show it. It's not craftable, it shouldn't be in the craftable tab. Here in the droppable tab, if the item isn't of the droppable module type, don't show it. If it's not a droppable module, then it shouldn't be in the droppable module tab. Brilliant! Uh, in case you're wondering, this is how you do this, uh, detecting what, uh, comparing what class it is. So you just get the type of the items and you compare it to the type of the class you're looking for. Uh, basic Google search can get you this. Um, but of course I'm also going to make it available for download. However, there was a problem with this, and that is that when we were detecting what we'd clicked on, we were using its index on the screen and assuming that was going to be the same index in our item list. So, just to show you what I mean, we were going to assume that this was item 0 in our item list, but it's not. It's actually item 2 in our item list, and this is item 3. You can see that over here, item 2 and item 3. And that was screwing me up in the last episode a little bit, and may have been what broke Mono develop. Um, so what I did is I simply created an index map. Now the index map, I define it here and it's just a list of integers. So the idea is that it will be as long as the shown items are. So if you have two shown items, the index map is too long. And I can actually show you it right here. See how the index map is currently zero? If I hit tab, the index map is currently too long 
and it goes 0, 1, because this is the 0th and the first uh, place they're, they're the, 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 in, our, in our item list, they are the 0th and the first. If they go over to craftable, it's still too long, but it's 2 and 3, because this is actually the second item in our items list, and this is actually the third item in our items list. And you can see that if we go over here, second item, third item, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3, and here you can see 0, 1, 2, 3. That's all it does. It's a very basic way to keep track of what index we are actually using. Um, and what I had to do to make that work is I just had to, it, to add this one line in. This used to be that. And I made it that. So it's very, very basic stuff. Uh, this is not, not complicated in the slightest. But I was getting some bugs. Um, and they were bugs related to other things. So I decided what I would do is I would fix those things. And maybe this is where Mono Develop broke. But this is why it's actually a little hard to revert these changes because I don't have. I, I didn't save the last episode's final product. Brain dead. Anyhow. Uh, I put in a break here, and that's because when we hide the inventory, we're not going to be able to show anything. It's gone. We just deleted it. So this this lack of a break was giving us um, annoying error messages. That was non-fatal. It was just you're trying to show something that doesn't exist. You're an idiot. You know that sort of stuff. And up here we had this ray casting stuff, which I left in because I didn't see any reason to remove it. Um, well, now there's a reason to remove it. I could actually make it work by changing this to index map index, but uh, it's unnecessary, so I just commented it out. Anyhow, that's what I spent the whole episode on, and then MonoDevelop crapped out on me, and I don't know why it did that. But what I'm going to do in the next episode is when you're in the craftable tab, there's going to be a crafting table and you'll be able to drag stuff onto it. So instead of clicking here and having it select like that, we'll be clicking here and dragging it over onto a 3x3 grid. Look forward to it.